Learn how to publish extensions faster. Discover how extensions are transforming the enterprise and get a sneak peek of what's coming up next for Chrome Web Store. Welcome to Go Faster and Reach Further with Chrome Extensions. I'm David Lee, Product Manager for the Extensions platform. Hi, I'm Hafsa Ismail, Product Manager for Extensions in the Chrome Web Store. And we're here to talk about all the things happening with Chrome Extensions and the Chrome Web Store this year and beyond. To contextualize all the new and exciting things we'll be sharing, it's helpful to imagine Chrome Extensions as a train system. The underlying platform is the train, and the Chrome Web Store is a network of tracks that takes your items, your precious cargo, and distributes them to users all over the world. In the last few years, we've been heavily focusing on safety, privacy, and performance to ensure that you can count on the platform to serve the needs of your business. We've been reinforcing the tracks, so to speak. Among other things, we've been making the system more dependable, more trustworthy, and safer from external threats. This included improvements to extension review, ensuring that over 95% of extension reviews complete within three days. And the launch and migration of the ecosystem to Manifest v3, which added restrictions to capabilities like remotely hosted code, making it easier for Chrome to ensure the safety and quality of extensions within our store. This year, we're upping the bar. It's not just enough to get your cargo to its intended destination, we're expanding distribution channels and speeding up the train. Especially with technologies like generative AI changing the landscape, it's all the more important for developers to iterate quickly and to be able to do more with their extensions. That's why this year, our motto is go faster and reach further with Chrome extensions. By go faster, we mean not only the ability to publish faster, but also the ability to avoid unexpected roadblocks and delays. The first step was for us to first understand what was slowing developers down, so we reached out to the community and conducted a number of in-depth interviews. Here are some of the things we learned. First, many devs and release managers shared that they felt nervous when they were ready to click the Submit for Review button in the dashboard. It felt too high stakes. Many of you said, that if you hit submit and there's a typo or an issue with the item, you're kind of stuck waiting for the item to finish review before you're able to change anything. Second, we're hearing from more and more developers that their extension is locked behind a sign-in. A lot of these extensions target business users or communities where logging in is required before it makes sense to show any meaningful functionality to the user. These extensions have a difficult time qualifying for the featured badge, and this was an especially notable pain point as the badge is a meaningful quality indicator for business customers that shape their first impressions of an item. And finally, we've heard that many of you use the Chrome Web Store APIs to automate the deployment of your extension updates, and the API is lacking compared with the dashboard. You have this really smooth flow going with your deployment. You're using, say, partial rollout to deploy your extension to 10% of your users, and then, oops, you realize you can't programmatically increment that percentage through the API. So it breaks your flow, and someone on the team has to manually go into the dashboard to update this number. There are clear patterns here, so that's why the first part of Go Faster is investing in ways to help you publish faster. To address the first pain point, of the Submit for Review button feeling too high stakes, we launched in March of this year the ability to cancel the submission for an item that is currently pending review. So it's OK if you make a mistake or notice a typo. You can take the submission back, tell us, hey, never mind, I didn't mean to publish this, and fix whatever issue you notice before submitting again. This is intended to make item update submissions feel lower risk. And since we've launched the feature, it's been very popular. We didn't make a huge splash when it launched, and even still, in the month of its launch, it was used on average about 150 times a day. And that number has continued to rise since then. More recently this year, we also launched the ability to provide test instructions in the dashboard for reviewers to use when evaluating your extension for granting the featured batch. This is one of the changes we've made in light of recent trends in extension usage in the enterprise, which we'll cover a little bit later in this talk. As mentioned before, we're seeing more extensions in our catalog now restrict the core functionality of their extension behind a sign-in prompt, typically because the extension itself is a companion experience to an existing service or app that requires the user to create a username and password. 
These extensions aren't able to easily qualify for the featured badge because much of the quality criteria we look at requires that we use the extension, and we can't meaningfully use it if all we see is the login dialog. Now, developers can give us instructions or a test account when they're submitting the extension so that the item can be considered for the featured badge. And finally, and this change isn't out yet, we're revamping the Chrome Web Store API for publishing items to the store. We've heard from so many businesses who deploy extensions using the API that they feel it's not keeping up with the dashboard. And we agree. Our most immediate changes will add capabilities like allowing you to increment the rollout percentage for your extension or indicate that you'd like to defer the publish of your item update once it's completed review. And this is just the first step. The goal is to have a more powerful and flexible CWS API that will continue to grow and evolve to keep up with everyone's needs. Of course, as many who work in a big team might already know, going faster doesn't just mean pushing code out faster. It also means facilitating easier collaboration between team members. In Chrome, we're constantly talking to and listening to our developer community. And over the years, we've been really excited to see the teams behind various extensions become larger and increasingly cross-functional. Now, it's not a surprise that extensions are made by teams of people. That's why we have the group publisher feature that we introduced a long time ago that lets people collaborate on the same items. But what was really curious was that many of the same teams who are growing larger were actually not adding their teammates into the dashboard, into the group publisher, even though those teammates, for example, in marketing or customer support, would benefit from seeing dashboard data. They'd probably even benefit from being able to make changes to the store listing. And when we dug into the issue, we learned it was because of one, security, and two, coordination overhead. In terms of security, the larger the team gets, the greater the risk that a phishing attempt, for example, would cause the extension to be compromised or that teams would lose track of who was supposed to have access and who wasn't. And for coordination overhead, the bigger the team, the more difficult it was to coordinate extension releases. Two edge teams might want to release changes at the same time, or maybe a marketing team wants to update the screenshots on the listing page at the same time as an edge team wants to deploy a bug fix. To avoid this, we saw a lot of teams designate a small group of release managers who act as gatekeepers for submissions of new changes. And only those release managers would be added to the group publisher, which meant all other team members couldn't access store listing analytics or other pertinent information about their item. What was clear to us was that this was causing a lot of coordination and logistics overhead that was slowing teams down. That's why later this year, we're introducing member roles and permissions to the dashboard. We're mitigating risk and increasing user confidence by moving membership management entirely into the dashboard. What you see here is an early UX exploration of what this might look like. You will be able to individually assign roles with varying degrees of view and edit permissions. For example, if a team member just needs to view the analytics for an item, you can just grant them viewer permissions and be assured that they won't be able to push out a new extension release. Those are some of the ways we're helping you go faster this year with Chrome extensions. Now, let's talk about reaching further. Really, what reach further means is expanding what's possible with extensions. And expanding what's possible takes two forms. First, it means giving extensions access to new technologies and APIs that allow them to keep up with the latest demands and trends. This year, that takes the form of our investments in generative AI, namely Chrome's built-in APIs that allow developers to supercharge their extensions with the power of Gemini Nano. And the second form of reaching further, of expanding what's possible, is expanding the market to more or different kinds of users. Later, you'll hear about shifts we've seen in enterprise extension adoption and what that might mean for you and your business. Back to AI. We've seen developers flocking to the web store in recent years, finding extensions the perfect conduit for channeling the power of generative AI to help users make sense of and transform content on the web. And I think they're right. Extensions are really a great fit for a lot of the use cases that generative AI is suited for. Last year, we ran a hackathon, the Chrome Built-in AI Challenge. This event highlighted new on-device generative AI APIs running on Gemini Nano. And over 70% of the entries we saw, and many of the eventual winners, were Chrome extensions. 
One of my favorites was an honorable mention called Docogram. It transforms written web content into visual diagrams. I thought it was a great way to make long articles easier to digest. And I can definitely see this functionality, for instance, being incorporated into more comprehensive study tools for students in the future. And if you're looking for inspiration, I recommend checking out the entries for the Built-in AI Challenge. There's a lot of cool things we're launching this year, including some cool multimodal APIs that can be used in extensions. There's so many interesting things to talk about that it has its own separate talk. If you're interested, look in the description for a link to the talk about the future of Chrome extensions with Gemini. Rather, what we want to share with you now are some equally exciting changes happening in the world of enterprise. And my colleague Hafsa will be giving you the full rundown. Thanks, David. Now, building on what we've heard about going faster, let's explore how we're helping you reach further into new markets, starting with the enterprise. Think about how much time you spent in your browser yesterday. For most of us, it's easily over five hours. And chances are your browser setup looks completely different from your colleagues. That's the power of extensions. They turn our browsers from standard tools into personalized workspaces. Today, I'm excited to share how extensions aren't just personalizing individual experiences. They're reshaping entire organizations and enterprises. Chrome has evolved beyond a window to the web. It has become the new operating system for work where most day-to-day -day productivity happens. Every day, hundreds of millions of people rely on Chrome specifically for their jobs, with knowledge workers spending over six hours daily in their browsers. An enterprise adoption of Chrome extensions has surged by over 30% in just the past few months. This rapid growth highlights a fundamental shift in how businesses operate and signals a clear opportunity for developers. But enterprises face a few unique challenges. One of the largest is discovery. Employees often don't know which extensions are approved for their work, and that can lead to confusion, delays, or unnecessary support tickets. The other large one is security. IT administrators are constantly walking a tightrope, trying to make the best tools available to their teams while also keeping everything secure and compliant. Every IT admin I've spoken with has shared a similar story. They genuinely want to empower their teams with the right tools, but they're often overwhelmed by approval requests and ongoing security concerns. And that's why I'm excited today to introduce the recently launched Enterprise Chrome Web Store experience. This allows organizations to create their own curated extension marketplace, filled with only the extensions they trust and tailor-made to meet the specific needs of their business. Enterprises can even recommend different extensions to different departments or teams, ensuring the right tools reach the right users. Let's take a look at what this looks like in action. First, employees get simplified access. Pre-approved extensions appear right on the Chrome Web Store customized landing page, making it easy to find what's allowed and install with confidence. So no more confusion, no more back and forth with IT, and no more delays that slow everyone down. Security is also stronger too. Because organizations can choose to promote only trusted, vetted extensions, admins can give employees flexibility without sacrificing control. So productivity also gets a boost. With improved search capabilities, including support for block tags and filters for private extensions, employees can quickly zero in on the tools they need to get the job done. The experience is fully customizable in a way that really resonates with customers. Admins can upload their company's logos, set a welcome banner, create announcements, and even build out curated collections of extensions tailored to specific departments. We have seen organizations turn the store into a space that really feels like an extension of their own brand. And the feature customers are most excited about is how easy it is to deliver a personalized experience for each team, all without complex IT workflows. And coming soon, we're adding more transparency. Admins will be able to add custom block messages right on an extensions item details page. 
So when something isn't available, employees see a clear explanation, no IT ticket needed. All of this is easy to set up through Chrome Enterprise Core, a free cloud-based management tool that helps IT teams configure browser settings, apps, and extensions across different devices, all from one central place. Now here's where it gets really exciting for developers. We're rolling out two major updates. First is around direct domain distribution. So soon later in the year, you'll be able to deploy extensions directly to specific enterprise domains. No more publishing broadly or relying on manual installs. This makes deployments faster, cleaner, and more efficient. The second is around the enterprise discover page. Businesses will soon be able to showcase your extensions in curated collections that align with their team's needs. This gives your tools front and center visibility and helps build trust from the very start. For developers, these updates represent more than just new features. They open up the door to a whole new audience and an opportunity to reach further. Enterprise customers often have more resources and are actively looking for more solutions that make their teams productive and secure. When your extension is featured in a trusted enterprise environment, it sends a really strong signal and shows that your solution meets a high bar for quality, reliability, and relevance. And because enterprise needs are often complex, whether it's about you know, compliance, analytics, or security, there's a growing demand for innovative, specialized features. Developers who build with those needs in mind can really create value and stand out in a meaningful way and reach further. Our extensions ecosystem has always thrived on collaboration between Chrome and developers. It's your ideas, your feedback, and your innovation that helps shape where we go next, and we're excited to keep building together. Extensions offer powerful ways to build on top of Chrome, delivering custom capabilities and value to help solve all kinds of user needs. Here's how you can stay involved. If you'd like to get the latest updates and insights from Chrome Extensions team, please make sure to subscribe to our official Chromium Extensions mailing list. You'll find the link down in the description below. And if you have ideas, questions, or feedback, we'd love to hear from you. Use our one-stop support form to submit feature requests, share pain points, or ask questions. As a team, we review every submission, and your input plays a huge role in shaping what we build next. Thank you for your dedication and the incredible solutions you create. Together, we're not just enhancing browsers, we're redefining what's possible with Chrome extensions. <laughs> <laughs>